I mean, I don't. We don't talk about the drug stocks. They've been sensational. Because the president, obviously, remember, like the, all of Congress used to be focused on the drug stocks and rolling back pressure. That that went away. Yep. And when you have that stuff go away, then the drug stocks play. And uh, there's going to be. A, I think there's going to be. The FDA is a little more positive about what's going on. I'm, I remain very positive on Eli Lilly as the drug stock of the year. Now that AbbVie, I you know, own these for the child industry. AbbVie's had a big run. But Eli, Eli Lilly has got the breakthrough uh, diabetes drug that doesn't put weight on. And then I really am a believer in their Alzheimer's drug. And this is from the work I do um, with the brain. I mean, I don't communicate with the brain. It's like I got problems with the brain. Like the brain's working, but, you know, it takes a little energy to get that brain working. <laughs> when there's something wrong with your brain, uh, like mo- when you have uh, a migraine, people have to know there is something that stops a lot of migraine. It's chemistry. It yeah, is chemistry. It's Biohaven has it, and you take the Amavig drug or the Lily- Lily's got a drug. And I always say this because, like, I, I'm the chief spokesperson for the American Migraine Foundation. People don't even know. I mean, I was just like, hey, guys. Hey, guys, oh, I have terrible migraine. Well, how about the drugs? What drugs? You know, they're using, they're still using, like, buffer and extra strength migraine. I mean, that's like taking, you know, I don't know, St. Joe's ass, children's ass. I haven't thought about bufferin in a long buffering. time. Remember bufferin? My yes. mom used to take bufferin. Yes. Um, just speaking of chemistry, brain chemistry, Jim, Tilray, up almost 18% today. I am so glad you mentioned it because that is the battle. Is it, you know, you've got to make it so it's not a a, a felony. And this bill, which has a strange name. The MORE Act. Yeah. yeah. Uh, would make it so it's not a felony, which makes it so that I've been ne- very negative on these stocks. But if it goes through and it's not a felony, then you're going to see that Canopy is going to be good. Telray's the leader. Um, I, I like uh, Aurora Cannabis on a comeback. But you got to... You got to win, and then you got to start making it so that it's more than just gummies. Yeah, a lot of the policy analysis today say it could go, but, could go. Uh, but no clear path in the Senate. Look, it's kind of a bust. It's kind of like the gambling stocks. You know, it's like there were too many companies in this, and you know, Canopy came in with guns, you know, guns roaring, and and Tilray, but the market's not nearly as big as they thought. Right. And they hate that when you say that. They're like, hey, well, the total adjustable market is a trillion. See, you know? Everybody can see the, the long-term charts. Right. Uh, the early the story in the early part of the week was more M&A rather than legislation. Right. Well, they have to have the shakeout because there's too many companies. I, look, I've got to tell you, I've looked at that market and the drink market, and I don't think the cannabis drinks, I mean, you know, the big rap on cannabis drinks, and I know this is going to sound true, they don't taste good. Really? Yeah. Now, as a person who drank... Uh, something that had everything in the periodic table, Mountain Dew uh, Diet Pink. I am willing to suspend any, any taste, but no, they can't make it so that it tastes good. That's the word.